everyone, welcome to another transformation video. This is the Transformers MPM 13 Blackout with Scorponok. I'm of course going to transform, show how to transform him, hopefully, because he's a little difficult to film, I feel. He's going to be a little difficult to film. So first thing is first, if you haven't taken off the accessories, including the Scorponok here, you do not want them on in your way, and they're going to probably fall off. Anyway, so just get those out of the way. This thing right here, you want to take this, take that piece, rotate that around, and then tap back in just so it's, they're ready for helicopter mode. Now, several things about this thing are tricky. So first thing you want to do is uh, take these shoulder pieces and, you know, bring them out. They're going to, they kind of hook over this thing and that, and tabbing that. You want to bring them out there on a hinge here, if you can see that. You want to bring them down on that hinge so they're down lower and they like that, sitting like that. Same on this side, you know, bring it out and bring it down lower on that hinge. So it's sitting a bit lower like that. And this one might sit funny because of this thing. Yeah. So bring those on those down on those hinges. Now, the next thing you want to do is uh, let's see. Right here, you want to go ahead up dap, dap, down here. There's a little thing. So you can see, but this thing right here will go, which slots over. You want to bring that down, and that'll help you get this stuff taken care of. Now, the backpack here, um, right here, this right here is tabbing these things. This center piece is tabbed. You want to go ahead and get that untabbed right here this lets you go ahead and start bringing this stuff back and also on top of that it's because it'll be a little easier to take over it now just bring these pieces up and uh over like this and just tab those together for now just get those out of the way but anyway back backpack here i'm gonna go ahead and get it loose kind of back from here and stuff will get caught a bit but yeah you want to bring this back and bring this all down like so, like that. So it looks like that. Then back here, what you want to do is go ahead and take this and bring these out like that. Bring this flip flap out like that. Rotate this whole thing 180 degrees. Yeah, lift this up. Yeah, lift this up and it's on a double hinge. You want to bring it back like this. Now bring it down and then bring it up again so you can tab that in. I found that's the easiest way to deal with that. Go ahead here and rotate this back and bring that up so it can be, you know, tail fin. Bring that up and so that's tail fin. Then go ahead and bring this stuff down a bit and get this stuff ready. You, yeah, and bring it like this. These are going to eventually tab in, but not quite yet because, uh, quite frankly, it'll be easier. You kind of leave them ready to go, but not quite in place yet. And that's going to hang out like that and you go ahead and just leave that like that because it's going to be hanging off the back of him for a while. And from here you want to go ahead and bring these out a bit so you can then, in here, untap this from the side, bring this piece in, collapse that in. Here you want to make sure to rotate the bicep 180 so the elbows are facing backwards like this. Bring this panel, this is a panel, bring that up and then bring this panel up underneath. And then rotate the fist here so it looks like this. And then close it up into there and then you close this panel up over it like that and tab that in but here you want to go ahead and uh undo this piece and kind of like that and then bring extend it out like that extend that piece out like that it's accordions up then you can go ahead and uh start bringing this back and bring this down and then Right here, this piece, you want to go ahead and unfold that a little bit and start unfolding those at the same time while you're bringing this back. So it can sit like that. This piece right here, you want to go ahead and unfold like that. And then just bring this up and around. It'll tab in here and here and uh, yeah, make this one cohesive unit. Just leave it hanging like that. It's just easier to just get that out of the way and just keep it hanging like that. And do the same thing on this side. Again, you want to rotate this at 180 degrees like that. Move this panel and that panel. Go ahead and rotate this and then, so the thumb's on the inside and bring that in. Tab that in like that. And then bring this up like that. Then you can unfold this piece. Again, up here, untab this. Bring it backwards like that. And start bringing this back. And while you're doing so, again, unfold that and start unfolding that as well. And of course, tab this and bring that in, and then 
bring start bringing this back and unfold all fold this stuff up. Bring it up like that. Bring this up, and then bring this up and fold it up over top of everything. I don't know why in the world it's uh, fighting me right now. There we go. Bring that up like that. And there we go. That's another side done. Just leave it hanging like that. These things get a little trickier too. Um, down here at the legs. What you want to do is bring these wheels out. Focus on one leg. Straight, straighten out the leg like this, right? Straighten that out. And collapse this part. If it hasn't already started doing so, collapse that up like that. This, you want to go ahead and unfold this like so. And then here you want to untab and bring it down. This is on a rotational piece right here. Rotates around. You want to rotate it around to this side. Just kind of leave it like that for now. Now the ankles here, you want to make sure they're straightened out and then bring them up and also fold this probably more further down like that. Bring these up like so and then these can these parts can collapse up like that. This, the toe can move up like this. This can rotate 180 like that. And this piece can also just fold in like right there. It's gonna not really tab on anything, but it'll just, you can just stay there. And this piece right here, you want to fold in like that too. Now this, you want to untab this, there's a hinge here. You want to untab that and bring this around and bring this up like that. And bring this up and then right here, you want to tab that in right there too, like that. And then go ahead and at the bite and at the thigh, rotate this inward like that. So it's all sitting like this, like that, right? Pretty much do the same thing on this side. Straighten out the leg, flatten that down, open that up, untab it and bring it down, rotate it around, close that up, well, okay. then bring the wheel out more, rotate this back, make sure the ankle the ankle's also at the right uh, tilts point or else it's it, um, not going to work very well. Yeah, take these and fold those up, pull the toe up, rotate this 180, untab these panels, bring, okay, then bring this down panel and bring this panel down and then untab this panel and this one on mine can uh, really tab in, so I'm a little scared sometimes of a, uh... there we go, untab that, untab this panel right there, rotate this inward, and then bring this panel down and this little side tab right here will go into this panel right here, like that. Hopefully it's all lined up. There you go, and then you can rotate that inward and then you tab that all together and hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully it does so. Yeah, tab that all together like that. Right, and there you got that part done. Now, up here, what you want to do is untab the bottom, the, unclip that from there. It's a little clip thing. You want to see that. Yeah, you can see it clips in there. You want to unclip that and also bring the skirt up. Collapse these in as well. They collapse in like that. Unfold this piece and make a solid panel like that. And also uh, bring it, bring this back. You want to bring the legs back to, you know, rotate the legs forward. Rotate this around before you do it all the way, and then finish rotating the legs forward like that. And then this is part that can be a little tricky, just because well, it feels like you have to use more force than you really need to. Yeah. Now this part, you want to go ahead and take these pieces and move those back like so, so they're out of the way, like that. You know, bring this up, and it's gonna you're gonna click this into place. And that's one click, and that's not done yet. You can see it's still, and even you have to keep pushing. There, there, it's all the way in the place now. 
Now we're getting something closer to an actual helicopter now. At this point, you want to go ahead, and these will peg into the side right here. These these pieces right here will peg into the side right here, the center piece right there, right? And these pieces, you will want to bring them in and tab. This is now when you want to go ahead and start tabbing them in. And uh, they also kind of tab into this part too. They tab here and they tab here, which means sometimes you have to push things past other things in order to get it all uh, working. So yeah, you want to tab those in, tab that in like that. And make sure this is all tabs and pegs in up here. And then bringing these back, you want to go ahead. There's a peg right here which will go up in this hole. And these, this right here will kind of tab over top of this. You see that, that tab right there. And there's also tabs right here which will go into the slots right here at the bottom of this thing. So there's a lot of connection points and some of them are very hidden so they're hard to show off on camera. But... You want to bring that all up, and that will t that side just went right in. That was the first time I ever just did that. And this side can be a little, on mine at least, can be a little more frustrating. It doesn't like to line up until it does, until it feels like it. When, particularly when the other side has already lined itself up. There we go. Got that in. Got that in. Yeah, okay. You gotta go ahead and make sure that's all tabbed in and secure. Right there. This right here can untab and just come forward. It doesn't really tab in, tab in, lock in or anything, but it holds enough. You go ahead and bring these back and they will go ahead and just tab these into this side here like that same thing on this side if it hasn't already a couple tab points here let's go ahead and tab in right there like so this part came undone for some reason yeah, tab that all in right there get that out of the way now up here at the front here. Yeah, so this part right here, what I want to do is take this piece. You want to take these and move these out like that. And yeah, take all that and move that out like that. Bring this part kind of forward. And then s this part should slide out a bit. Now you can go ahead and compress the head down like that. And then this part, we want to go ahead and bring those down like that. Bring this up all the way, the rest of the way. And uh, yeah, make sure this goes all the way down. It's going to bring up and... Have it right there. Up here, you want to go ahead and uh, there's the little window things are inside here. You want to go ahead and flip those forward like that. Same thing on the side, flip that forward. Like so, and you can go ahead and take this piece right here and bring this around and at the same time, bring, start bringing these down. Make sure this is still forward. Bring these down and tab those in and then bring this down. Have that all in, give it a good squeeze. Give that all a good squeeze and slide this back like that. Go ahead and then down here, go ahead and then pick these up and put them in place like so. And bring the wheels down right there. We're getting close to the end. Now here you want to go ahead and this can be a little tricky is get these wrangled up and around this thing so they come in the center like that, especially once you got one in place now, the other one's going to be a little bit trickier. You might want to move these out a little bit so you can get a little more room so you can get these up and around. And like that. And then they'll peg together. Like that. These you can go ahead and bring these back like so. That back. Accidentally unseated that. There we go. And back here at the tail rotor, what you want to do is uh, this piece. You'll go ahead and bring this, flip this up, and then rotate it in place, like so. And then bring this hook out like that. Then take the tail rotor and uh, 
click it into place like that. These rotors, you go ahead and just, well, fan them out. Fan out like this. And it's little slots and tabs. You can just get those all lined up so they're nice and it's in the correct spot. And then bring this in. This will peg into the middle. And then these tabs on the bottom, you can see those tabs on the bottom, which go in the little slots in the larger rotors. And some of them might be a little uh, finicky about actually tabbing in properly. Not always, but sometimes. And there you go. Um, there's your vehicle mode. Okay, so getting it back to robot mode. First things first is you want to go ahead and uh, yeah, untab this, which is rubbery plastic, so you might have to use a bit weird force to tab in. Some of them tab in real solid, others tab in a little looser, but yeah, you want to go ahead and uh, get this central rotor piece untabbed and unpegged and everything, and then go ahead and take this thing, open that up, flip that around and do that. Then put it all aside for now. This piece, you want to figure out where the, the top is of the rotor piece and then yeah get those all back like that for now you want to go ahead and also take these pieces and close it rotate that down and flip that down and just kind of leave it like that for now up forward here you want to go ahead and bring these out and around like so kind of have them like this and this piece you need to split this but this is a pain in the butt to split with just your fingers I always have to use a spudger so uh, that's unfortunate but it just it is what it is so I have to use a spudger to get that done initially you might have different success but I've yet to be able to get my fingers in there so I can actually get this split anyway uh, get this up and over like that, get up and over and out like that. It's up and over and out like so. These you wanna go ahead and just kind of angle them out a little bit for now, just because you, it makes things a little easier up down here. And what you wanna do is go ahead and slide this forward and that will let you, give you a little more leeway so you can get these up and out of the way like so. Which then you can get this thing up and out fold it all the way back and this will tab into itself like that. That and then bring it down and click all the way back and like into place. You can fold this forward a bit. This down here, you can go ahead and untab this and untap this piece right here. Bring the wheel landing gear forward and bring, start bringing that down. You can slide this all up with the head and everything. Make sure to get all the way up. And then this piece to make things easier, you actually want to go ahead and Fold those kind of back up a little bit because this will let it get out of the way for this thing and bring this down and slide that forward and bring that up like that. Again, these pieces, you want to take the window pieces and click those back. And bring this down over top like so. Again, take that piece and put it back and then bring this down over top. And there you, that's actually a good chunk of it done right there. And then you go ahead and bring these forward like that. Yeah, we're really looking mode right here. <laughs> but anyway, um, you go ahead and take these and untab them, these side pieces from the side, bring those in forward like that. Just get those out of the way. And untab and bring that forward. Now back here, you want to go ahead and take this piece and move that forward like that. Go ahead and fold that down for now. We'll adjust it later. And then start untabbing these pieces, which will start untabbing these pieces too. And then you can unpeg these pieces. Yeah, unpeg those and get that all ready to go and then unpeg these and everything and get this ready to go. Down here you want to go ahead and uh, take these, unfold those and fold those and uh, tab those in right here. So then undo all this. There we go. Then as you're bringing it forward, swing the legs down. Here you want to take this piece, you want to take this and uh, untab this piece, or go ahead and flare these pieces out right here. Yeah, these pieces right here, they flare out. 
so, and then you can take this piece and bring it up, tap it in right there, rotate this around right here, like that, bring this down, and then want to probably move this up a little bit so you can then take this clip and put in this socket a little easier. Be a little bit easier, but there we go. Bring that up and then bring that down over the top, and there you go. That's done. Then you want to go ahead and uh, split the legs like so, and rotate them at the vice or at the thighs. Yeah, and untab this piece right here. Fold it out like this. At this hinge, fold this piece in. This will tab here. This tab will go here. This slot will go over this tab like that. You can bring this around, fold this around, and these slots right here will be the, for these tabs. It's a double hinge, so make sure just to get it all lined up properly like that. Then you can go ahead and take this whole piece and rotate it like that. Bring the toes down. You can go ahead and uh, take this piece and fold out like that, and take this piece and fold that out. Then you can bring the foot down like that, take these pieces and Fold those down, the additional heel support, and then you can take this piece and fold that up. Right here you can go ahead and uh, rotate this around on the outside. Like so, and then bring it up, and this tab will go in this slot right there. Like so. Like that. And then you go ahead and take this piece and... Oop, don't want to tab that. And then take this piece right here and just fold that in like that. And then right here you can go bring these pieces out so that this will go over top of this through you know over that that bar like that and then you want to go ahead and well position the legs how you want because they're supposed to be meant like chicken legs anyway down here same more or less the same thing unfold that fold it right here at this hinge tap that in bring this around again tap it in right here rotate this around here fold that out unfold that bring the foot down rotate these down like so and rotate the toe down bring this around in this little armature right here like that rotate it up and tab it in right there close that up like that then bring this out and bring this out until so this this will clamp over the bar in the middle like so and then adjust the legs as necessary, like that. And now we can pretty much get him, oh yeah, and take these, uh, this piece and uh, pull it up. There we go, that's the bottom half done. Now we can go ahead and, yeah, have him still balance weird. Now, up here, up here, you want to go ahead and take these pieces, if they haven't unpegged them, unpeg them, then fold them up and collapse them in like that. Again, unpeg and fold them up, collapse those in. Back here, again, what you want to do is untab that and then bring it up like this. This will collapse over top of that. And then right here at this, you rotate this all 180 like that. This can you bring this up like this and there's actually a slot and a tab right there so that sits like that these panels you want to fold at this hinge so that this will kind of you see there's a groove here that this will nicely nestle into that stay all the way yeah again this hinge right here so it nestles in that little groove make sure these are rotated so that the slots are facing this way like that Or less. Now, this thing right here. This this will this fringe will go up. There's a little divvy here for uh, this part. Oop. Yeah, there's a little divvy here for this part. You just kind of bring it up like that. Now this is probably the trickiest bit right here. You got to bring this all up. Now bring this all up and way up. 
you want it way up here and then you got to get this forward enough and then this right here you got there's a the uh this clip right here bring that down you want to bring this up enough so that this all lines up and again you want there's slots in here right there you can see that there's a slot there which will line up with a tab right there and this is annoying because you got to get pieces past other pieces in a really un as far as i can tell kind of annoying way and doesn't play nice to say the least you get all this past and up sometimes things get in the way of other things and you gotta get that all up in the like that you can bring and bring that up and i actually got it up pretty quickly i was surprised surprised about that and uh yeah bring that up and in and uh this will tab in these will these tabs will go into the slots on the sides of this thing this one like on mine the right one does not like to fully tab in sometimes yeah and then this thing will right here will go over that like that yeah, bring that up and that will lock that all into place now you have the backpack in the right spot Now, up here at the arms, what you're going to go ahead and do here is bring this down, untap that, then bring this down. Now you can start unfolding this a bit. Go ahead and bring that down like there. Start unfolding that. Bring this panel out and then bring it down, tap it itself, and then bring it around like that. Go ahead and tab this in right here, like that. Bring the arm down, rotate at the elbow. This right here, you can see, collapses in like this and tabs over this stuff, like that. There you wanna go ahead and bring this thing out right there and this will go into this um, clip right there. Make sure to line it up properly because you get this one on this side, you can actually go a little too far. Yeah, there you go, line it up. Take these panels and open those up. Get the hand out, which can be a bit of a pain initially. <laughs> there we go. Get the hand out. Close those back up. And there we go. Right. Deal with this side. Same sort of thing. Open that up, get this untabbed, bring that down. Go ahead and take this panel and bring that around and tab that in right there. Go ahead and start bringing the arm down. Bring this panel down, tab it yourself and back around. Close this up over that. Bring that down, open that up, get the fist out. Get the fist out, close that up. Up here, bring that out for the clip, clip it in, like so, and then rotate this around at the bicep. We're in the home stretch here. By the way, the rear propellers either have them sticking out like this or have them sticking out at the top side. Some people have argued about which way this should be going and whatnot, but uh, on this thing right here, I make sure to collapse that up like that. Yeah. There we go. And the rotor also have them out like this, just kind of a little bit flared out. And bring these things all the way forward. If they have an ordinary bin, take this thing and uh, use that double hinge to bring it up and kind of get it over that hook and then get this thing into that slot if you can, hopefully. Uh, yeah, bring this up. Again, bring this up on that hinge, double hinge, get up over that hook and slot that in and actually slot it in. And then uh, finally, up here you take this thing and untab it from each other and well, this will tab in down here like that. 
Damn it down here like that. And then go ahead and angle those like that. And there you go. There's blackouts. Robot mode. Again, the difficulty comes from the sheer amount of space he takes up. There's actually, he, the concepts are simple. It's the difficulty just getting it all wrangled in place until it's all collapsed into either mode. But once you figure it out that the, uh, the deal with it, it's usually not too difficult from there. So just hopefully this was helpful and hopefully you have, you know, you don't have to work with a camera in your way <laughs> or whatever. So, um, that's it. Hope you found this informative. I hope you check out the review. Um, yeah, check me out on Twitter. I'm at Nemesis Prime One. Check out my coffee and my Patreon, and I'll see you soon next time. <laughs> <laughs>